The objective of this video is to use soil test parameters to calculate the total amount of nitrogen and phosphorus needed to grow a sweet corn crop in North Carolina. The first thing we need to do is actually calculate what is our total nitrogen requirement. So to get your total nitrogen requirement, we need to know what we assume that our bushels of corn, like what our assumed yield is in bushels per acre, we need to know how much nitrogen we are going to apply per bushel of corn. The average is between 1 and 1.25. And then we need to know how many acres we have total. All of these values are given in the table on top of this video. So we assume that we're going to get 100 bushels of corn for every acre. Pretty optimistic in some regions. And we are using an application rate of 1.25 pounds of nitrogen for every bushel of corn, and that's the upper range. So that's the number of pounds of N per acre, and then we have a total of 150 acres that we are planting. So that leaves us with our total amount of pounds of nitrogen, which equals 18,750 pounds. And this is plant available nitrogen, which means that um, it is the amount of active nitrogen we have need in the crop to grow this plant. The next step we determine is how much stockpiled poultry litter is actually required. So for this, we know that we have a total that we calculated before, 18,750 pounds of plant available in. So in order to determine the total quantity of this stockpiled poultry litter that we're going to need, we need to know how much plant available N has per pounds of total nitrogen. And up here, we have this value that says poultry litter has a 65% plant available nitrogen ratio. So for every 100 pounds of nitrogen, 65 pounds are plant available. So that leaves us with the total amount of pounds of nitrogen that we are going to need. We then multiply that by the ratio the pounds of N that are in the total amount of stockpiled litter. So for every one ton of litter, we have 36 pounds of N. When you multiply that all together, you end up with 801 tons of poultry litter needed to calculate or to get all of our plant available nitrogen. We now know how much uh, nitrogen that we are going to apply to this. We are going to apply 801 tons of poultry litter. And we need to determine how much phosphorus is needed. If you look at this 85 or this um, P index of 82, it is in the range that is not responsive to treatment. So we need zero pounds of P for our crop. However, if you look at your poultry litter, you are there's 54 pounds of P in each um, in each ton of fertilizer. So you are applying P even though you don't need it. This brings us to the question, how much P is over applied. Over applied equals the pounds of P we are applying minus the pounds we need. And in this case, we already know that it's zero. We don't need anything. So anything we're applying is going to be over applied. So we have 801 tons of litter. over our 150 acres and we need to multiply that by our 
amount. This there's fifty four pounds of P two O five in every one ton of litter. So there's two hundred and eighty eight pounds per acre. And then we take that 288 pounds of P per acre and determine what is our plant available phosphorus. And our plant available phosphorus, if you look at this poultry litter, has 85% of phosphorus that is plant available. So we have that 200 that 85 or 288 pounds of P times for every 100 pounds of P, 85 pounds are plant available. So that equals a total of 245 pounds of P applied. 245 minus zero equals 245 pounds of P over applied. We have gone through that calculation to determine how much nitrogen our plant needs. Sometimes when we apply fertilizer, like in one crop, we end up getting excesses, like in this case we have excess phosphorus to meet our nitrogen recommendation. If we don't meet our nitrogen recommendation, even though we have plenty of phosphorus, our plant can't grow nice quality years of corn.